Hello and welcome to today's uh, Eagle video post for ECE101.com. Uh, if some of you haven't seen all the videos, I'd encourage you to check out our website and get a little bit more in depth with not only the rest of the videos but also the text that comes along with these videos. Last time we went ahead and did this package uh, and I forgot to save it so I had to go and recreate it. It might look a little bit different as far as the text and its placement but the package is the same. So what we're going to do today is create the symbol and then combine the symbol and the package to create the device so that you can use it in your projects. So from where we left off last time just come up here, click on symbol, and I'm going to give it the same name, two and a half underscore dig LCD. Yes, we'd like to create it. <clears throat> it brings you to this screen, looks like your schematic diagram. What I'm going to do, if you come back to the data sheet, here's the pinout description for this LCD. This is a pretty bad data sheet. Uh, normally you'd have something that looks like what you're going to make in your symbol. But this is all they give you. So what's important to notice here is there are a bunch of signal pins and then there's this common pin. For the LCD it can be either ground or VDD or VCC. Um, I'm going to make it ground in this case. So come in here, there are 16 pins. One of them is a common pin. What I'm going to do, since your signals tend to flow from left to right, and the common pin is pin 16. I'm just going to come in and drop 15 pins over here. And I am kind of picky. And I'm going to drop one over here. Um, and that's basically your pin definition right there. Um, the size really doesn't matter on the schematic diagram or the symbol. You'll kind of get an idea of what size you're using by the number of pins. So if you spaced all these pins out a lot, then you might have a bit large of a symbol. But with them spaced close like this, you'll always end up with a decently sized symbol. So the next thing I'm going to do is a lot like on the package. I'm going to select the wire tool. I used the pin tool earlier in case you didn't catch that. Select the wire tool and just draw a box. And there we go. So that's basically all I have to do. But in order to make it easier to identify which pins are what, I'm going to go ahead and rename all these pins to what their signal names are. We could have done that on the package as well. Um, but it's not really necessary. It follows the same pattern as what we're going to do here. So you just click on name, click on the pin, and let's see here. Pin 1 is 1BC. One okay, so there's that one. We can go through and do the rest of them. For time's sake, I'm not going to bother. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create a device. So you click on the device button, select two and a half dig LCD. Okay. Yes, creates a new device. <clears throat> and it brings you to this screen. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a part. And we're going to add from our library the two and a half digit LCD. There we go. The next thing we need to do is add a package. So we're going to select new package and it's going to ask you to create a package variant. Uh, we're going to call this through hole. And then if we ever get the same component in say a surface mount package, we can come back in and rather than creating a whole new part, we can just create a package for it and then add that package to this device and connect it up the way it needs to be connected. Say OK. And we're ready to go ahead and connect all the pins. So what we do is we come down here and click on connect. And that'll bring up this screen. Here is your pin in the symbol 
and here's your pad in the package. Now the reason I didn't name them all is because it, in the package is because or in the symbol is because I didn't name them in the package and this makes connecting them very simple. If I had named them in both the package and the symbol then everything would line up here still. But in this case 1BC is pad 1 so I can just come down here and click connect all the way through. Now if you named all of your pins or all of your pads but not both you need to make sure that you connect the right pin to the right pad. For example, if I connected pin 16 to pad 15, then if we come back to the data sheet, in my symbol on the schematic, I would wire up, say I wanted to wire up uh, 2D. So if I connect those incorrectly in the device creation, then pin 15 on the schematic if I connect that to pin 16, when I go to the block diagram or to the board to lay it out, I'm actually connecting ground to whatever I think I'm connecting, or the common to whatever I think I'm connecting pin 15 to, and vice versa for pin 16 and pad 15. So you got to be really careful there because it won't have any errors. I mean, this is something that you've created, so it assumes that you've done it right. Uh, so make sure that you do create those parts or those packages and devices correctly otherwise you'll get errors on your board and you'll have to debug it once you get everything put together and that's not a lot of fun so take the time make sure that everything is named properly make sure it's all connected properly and you'll be well on your way so we just hit OK come up here and say save library and it'll bring you to this dialog right here now you'll notice it's not in the directory that we've been saving our projects. Anything you save, any libraries you save in this directory, in the Eagle Library directory, will be available and will be automatically loaded when you load Eagle. So we're going to call this example. Save it. And if we come back here to our Eagle control panel, it might not be loaded up yet. I don't know if it'll load immediately or if it's something that the next time you open Eagle it'll load. And there it is. So yeah, it loads immediately. So we come in here. Hey, there's our device that we just created. So if we want to add this to a schematic, we can right away. So that's the basics of how you make a package, a symbol, and a device so that you can use your own parts in your projects. Uh, if you have any questions feel free to contact us. My email is chris at ece101.com or you can leave comments on our webpage. Again that's www.ece101.com uh, and if there's anything that you want to see I'm starting to run out of material. Uh, I'll be covering a couple things that I've covered in the past and I'll be going back and showing you how to do Gerbers. But if there are any things that you want to know how to do, just drop me an email, let me know what it is, and I'll do my best to get it done. Thanks.